thought it was anyway. Not that you have to sing it now, but uh, what song do you want to do now? I, I would actually like to do a song um, recognizing what's going on in Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's right. Well, you said you, you have a side career as a political justice activist. I, I, have, a, I have an MSW in, in social work policy and planning, and I've... I've yeah, it, it it has taken different paths. I, I did do international development in education, early childhood development, youth development for a while. When I started, when I realized I needed to also be a musician, I, I had to stop that work because literally I would show up at work on Monday and they'd say, oh, by the way, you're going to be in Guatemala on Friday. And it just, the two were very clearly incompatible in terms of So of you're timing. doing you're doing what you want, but are you as effective in making change, do you think? I like to think of that I am. Um, I think there, you know, I, I, I find I actually just did a keynote speech for Martin Luther King Day and actually unveiled the video for this song that I'm going to play. It's Letters from a Ghost. It's a tribute song for um, the letter that Dr. King wrote from a Birmingham jail in 1963. And I talked a lot. I reflected a lot about change and how do we each affect change. And and I came to the conclusion I really I've spent I've spent a, a whole lot of time since graduate school trying to figure out the best way to affect change. And I, I have finally come to the conclusion that everyone else probably knew all along, which is that there there really isn't one way, and we all play a part in it. And it really is, it's a puzzle that has to fit together, and each of us has our one little piece. And so I'm, I'm doing my one little piece. I'm working in statewide juvenile justice advocacy and policy work to try to keep kids out of the criminal and juvenile justice systems and then advocate that those systems be safe and fair and effective when kids do get engaged. And it's it's one piece of the puzzle, but yeah, we are we're doing we're doing some really great things up there. So I do that four days a week, Monday to Thursday, and then I tour on the weekends. And um, yeah, I'm really grateful. I love both of them, and they fit together really, really nicely. Here's Laura Herskovich. Cross this bridge, they'll swim and you fly. There's five thousand ways to get to the other side. As the hero will tell, when you reach out your hand to someone else, you help yourself. Three billion. Tears, three billion more who's keeping score here we stand hand by hand side by side one not eye to eye the mail piles high cause a nightingale keeps breaking
Laura Herskovich, live in the WLN studio. So you, you 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 work for the social justice four days a week. You're a touring singer songwriter. And what what was the keynote speak you gave? You mentioned of. I got invited. It, it was in Connecticut in one of our cities, uh, a youth services bureau, which is this really great hub of programs and services and referrals, case management for kids to do all kinds of things from recreation to therapeutic clinical stuff. And um, they have an annual Martin Luther King Day. Uh, I forget what they call it, but it's it's an event that gives out awards to kids who are doing amazing service and classrooms that are doing great service. And so I went in to do the keynote speech and play. It's kind of an odd keynote speech because some of it was sung. You know, I mean, so I was I was performing like I am here and then speaking and then uh, unveiled. It was the it was the international debut of my my first.